הרב יוסף זונדל, עליו השלום, was addicted to only one thing, learning Torah. His wife, who handled the finances, would send him once in a while to go to the market that was there a few times a year, to go take their money and buy the uh, fabric that she would take and sell and make it into dresses or sell it to different people in the community, which was full of poor people. So the time came, she said, Kvodarav, please take our money, go to the, uh, to the place and invest our money to go buy a fabric so we can make all types of clothes for the community, sell it so we can make a living, so you can learn Torah. So Rav Zundel went to the market. The time he got to the market was early in the morning. He says, Hashem doesn't need me to go search for things all day and work all day to make money. Hashem runs the world. So why am I going to waste all day working, looking, is this good, is that good, is this, is that? Let me just go learn Torah and come here, you know, five minutes before they close. And whatever is left, I'll buy that. What do I need to go, you know, use my own brain? Let me go learn Torah, do what a Kadosh Baruch Hu says, and uh, whatever Kadosh Baruch Hu wants me to give, it'll be available at the end of the day. Because surely, no dollar will be taken out of my pocket that belongs to me, and no dollar will go into my pocket if it doesn't belong to me. As the Gemara in Masechet uh, Beitzah, page 16, and also Rosh Hashanah, page 16, both says that your Parnassah is decided in Shemaim and Rosh Hashanah. From Rosh Hashanah, Ad Rosh Hashanah, your Parnassah is already decided. And the only thing that changes is the money that you use for mitzvot. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, on the mitzvot money that you have, I'm going to pay for that. Whatever money you use for mitzvot, I'm going to pay for it. So anyone that has real emunah spends a lot of money on mitzvot. A lot of tzedakah, a lot on Shabbat, a lot of chagim. People say, oh, Judaism is expensive. It's supposed to be if you want to be rich. If you want to be rich, you have to spend a lot of money on Judaism. Why? It's the only money you're guaranteed to get back. Why? HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Mi ekdimani v'ashalim. Who did me a favor and I'll pay him back. Meaning, who, bought, who invested into a mitzvah without even having all the money yet? You wanted to go buy $500 worth of stuff for your Shabbat because you're having guests. Not because you just have a big stomach. You have guests. You want to honor Shabbat. You want to have guests. You want to teach Torah, learn Torah. You spend $500, $1,000, $2,000 on your Shabbat. Those who says, that's for the honor of my Shabbat, I'll pay for it. When? Those who has his timing, don't worry, you'll get it. You'll get it. Don't give Hashem deadlines. You don't give the boss deadlines. You give yourself deadlines. You just do what you're supposed to. Those who says, who did me a favor first, and I'll pay him back. Because in reality, we never do many favors first. That's in essence what he's saying. But if you did something, cash. So Rav Zunda says, what do I need to waste my time checking if this is better or that's better? Kadosh Baruch Hu is going to decide for me. So what did he do? He went to a place where no one could bother him. He started learning Torah all day. All day he's in the Torah. He's in the Sfarim. Eventually after hours of the Sfarim, he looked at the uh, clock. Oh, five minutes left. Goes into the market. Everyone's closed. Except one guy. One guy that has really, really high-end fabric that only kings buy. It's so expensive, only the kings can afford it. But he's the only one that's still open. Arab Zunda says, okay, here's all my money. Give me the fabric. Give me everything. Now, Arab Zunda didn't live in a uh, Fifth Avenue in New York. He didn't live in Beverly Hills in, uh, you know, in, in, in Los Angeles over there. No. He lived in a, in a village where... It would take them a thousand years to sell one of these fabrics. No one wears such a thing. Poor people. He comes home with this fabric. He put all of the finances. His wife starts crying hysterical. He says, what would you do? Who are we going to sell this to? Who are we going to sell this to? No one can afford such fabric. She starts crying and Arab Zunda says, No, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Kadosh Baruch Hu runs the world. Divine logic is not human logic. We can use our human logic. A Kadosh Baruch Hu's logic is much better than ours. But his emunah at that stage was higher than his wife's. 
as you would have it, the wife doesn't even know what to do with this fabric. She doesn't know what to do with it. A few days, not even a season, a few days pass, a messenger from the king comes to the town. Anyone here deal with dresses and fabric? Oh yeah, the, the Zundel family. Huh? Oh, yes, you, hi, yeah. You deal with fabric? Yes. Yes, okay. The king's son, the prince, is getting married. And everyone needs to wear the same exact thing, but it's only a special type of fabric. You have anything, uh, it's, we have the perfect thing for you. How much do you want? All of it. Became very rich. Rav Zundel became very rich. Why? Because he understood divine logic is not human logic. Now we can work 20 hours a day. Doesn't mean you're going to succeed. There are many, many people that work a lot and don't make any money. Many people that work very little make a lot of money and vice versa. Vice versa. But the test of Panasa, Rabotai, is not a easy one. But it's impossible if you don't have Torah. 